Hello, Bowflex family. Good morning or good afternoon, whatever it is where you are. I'm Amy and today we are doing a 30 minute dumbbell lower body and core workout. So we're going to be using a set of dumbbells. I'll be using my Bowflex Select Tech adjustable dumbbells. So I'll be going up and down in weight. You use whatever you have available to you. If you don't have weights, just do body weight. You will still get a great workout. Make sure that you have your water close by and a little bit of space to move. And as always, I will give you lots of different options so you work to a level that works for you. I'm just glad that you are here and you are moving with me. So let's go ahead and get started with a little warm up. You can just go ahead and start marching those feet. Hey, Alyssa is here. Welcome, Alyssa. Definitely say hi if you are here. Roll those shoulders. I love to know who is joining as we are getting ready to move. So go ahead, shake all of that out. I'm gonna fix my microphone back here. <laughs> you can go ahead as we are rolling those shoulders. Let's add a little hip roll with it too. Since we're gonna be working through those hip joints, all through that lower body and core. And again, bring it to the front switch your direction. So we'll be alternating between some lower body and some core and putting them together. So get excited about that. We're gonna take it flat back down and round it up. Two more just like that. And we're here. Roll those shoulders just like this to open up on the inside of the legs walk those feet in and round it up let's take it to a squat and then a hinge so two big movements we're going to do today squat and then hinge it forward feel that stretch through the back of the legs on that hinge we'll go one more right through here and then let's open it up side lunge right here just like that Keep it stationary, just reach and reach. Good, walk those feet in. We're gonna inchworm it out if this is good for you. Otherwise, stay up top, you can just keep that hinge. If you can, take it out right through here and walk it back all the way up. So we're warming up through the back of the body, through the spine, and also getting that core fired up and ready to go. One more right here. Stay here with it. Let's just press up into that down dog and take it here. Press it up. Let's get one more. And then we'll stay here. We'll take those knees across. Little stretch. And then take one leg up to the side. So coming into that deep stretch, you can drop that knee. If you're standing, go ahead and come into this position. Take that arm up, press up through the legs, dropping the knee. And then we will reach under and up just like that. Good, and then switch your sides, other side. Drop the knee if you need to, little stretch. And then reach under and up. And step it in, round it up, tap and reach across. All right, so shake everything out. We are getting it done. Lower body and core today. We'll alternate between, again, some legs, big movements for the legs, smaller movements for the legs, using the dumbbells and some core and some things where we are putting it together. All right, let's take those hamstrings up Bring them up to the back. Arms up right here. And then take it across. Really get that rotation through the spine. And then a little stretch here. All right, shake it out. Grab some water if you need to. All right, team, so grabbing those dumbbells, we're gonna start with a squat into a lunge. Hello, Ashley is here. We're gonna take it down in a squat. Watch me. 
then you're gonna lunge it down into a squat then you're gonna lunge it if you want you can keep it a little higher if you're able get low full range of motion go ahead and zip up that core roll those shoulders back we've got 40 seconds ready here we go drop it down Woo! and squat it I did the lunge first whatever is best for you and again if you don't have weight or the weight is too much you just take it with just your body weight or you can drop it down to just one weight hold it goblet style but we're squatting and we're lunging two favorites right really getting that heart rate up to start yes you can five seconds three two and one drop one weight down we got it right here so we're going to get a little twist and a knee so you're just here to here standing core if you have that dumbbell i want you to push into it just a bit to keep that core engaged even more shoulders back we're starting in three in two in one here we go 40 seconds cross so standing core you decide your pace i want you to really get that rotation if you don't have a weight aim for that elbow core is engaged everything is pulled in and you're getting that twisting for those obliques keeping it going here we go 10 seconds to go breathe three two one and relax give your hands a little break from the weights if you need to we're gonna go back to the top we are putting those moves together so we've got our squat and we've got a lunge and twist so we're gonna squat it down bring it up here lunge it back twist it here squat it down cross the other side lunge it back and twist so you cross one way twist the other way right so we get that rotation in the core you're twisting over the knee that's in the front and crossing to that opposite knee from the squat shoulders back core engaged we got 40 seconds in three in two one here we go squat and twist that knee goes back lunge and twist back to center squat and twist lunge and twist whatever pace is good for you just want good form on both so we're not rushing either the balance is really coming into play especially on that lunge and twist so take your time 10 seconds yes breathe Woo. last one and relax set those weights down grab a sip of water heart rate should be up after that we are getting the cardio as well all day all right team let's take it down to the mat we're gonna start with a little core basics then we will add some weight to it so we are here join me here we're gonna take it to that dead bug so we love the dead bug feet in tabletop you're just gonna extend opposite arm opposite leg bring everything in i like to call that closing the core everything is pulling in starting with that to warm up through those core muscles and then we will add on with a little bit of weight zip up the core hips and ribs together i want you to tilt that pelvis watch me bring it here sometimes we end up arching but we're going to bring everything in nice and tight knees up three two one here we go so dead buck to start breathe <laughs> Alyssa says that was a workout for my brain I'm assuming you're talking about the squats and the lunges I know it was a lot right we're here so down and up reach over extend it long and close the core it's not a crunch there's not flexion or extension bending with that spine but your entire core is working especially that deep core which is what we love 
about this dead bug. We got three, two, one, and relax. So go ahead and reach over and grab one dumbbell. So we're gonna hold it right here. We're gonna take a little pullover into a bridge. So yes, yeah, sneaking on a little upper body, sorry about that, but pull over, get that stretch through your core and your back, we're gonna come up in the bridge. So now we're getting lower body and upper, but core is working as well. Let's get it done in three, two, one. Here we go. Everything up and in. So lots of glutes and hamstrings, lots of lower body on that core, on that bridge. But as that weight goes over, feel how that pulls on your core, right? It's pulling you here. So we're gonna pull everything in and tight, right? And breathe. You can do this without the weight. Whatever is best for you. All the way through. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, team, so weight to the side. No weight, but we're gonna put that together. So we're gonna go over and up with the bridge, then take it dead bug, one, and then the other. Back in place, over and up with the bridge, then dead bug. So just one and then the other. Don't think too hard on it, Alyssa. It will make it a brain workout too, but let's get your body working. Take it over. I want you to push those hands towards each other. Now that we don't have the weight, in three, two, one. Here we go, over and up. Bring it up, dead bug, dead bug. Slow and controlled, push those hands together, feet down, over, everything up in the bridge. Here, reach and reach. Here we go, down, squeeze. So a lot of that core work is coming and getting set up between the two, right? Take it over, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and breathe. Bring it up on to your feet. We're gonna grab two dumbbells again. This time we are taking it to that plie squat, which I love, into a curtsy lunge, right? So we're here, plie, watch me, you're gonna tap it in and then curtsy it behind. So before we did that regular squat into regular lunge, now we've got plie, step over into curtsy. So it is up to you. If you need to keep it a little higher, that's okay if you can get low with or without the weights, but we wanna keep that core working, grabbing those weights. Three, two, one, 40 seconds, plie, and curtsy. Drop it low, squeeze up inner thighs, cross behind. We got a lot of outer thighs, right? Here, in, and here. If you're feeling good about it, you can cross right into that curtsy. I like to tap it in in between, but certainly you can keep the flow going, depending on where your balance is, right? Breathe. Take it down. Yes, legs. And we're here. Last one. And breathe. Set. One. Weight down. Here's what we got, team. Side knee. So with, the, with or without that weight, we're going side and side. So it's not just upper body. I want you to actually pull it in like a side crunch. You've got the weight here to here. If you need a little extra balance, you can split the time, grab onto the wall, or you can do this with no weights. One dumbbell in the center, pull that core in. Let's get it done. 40 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go. And here, take it in and in. Again, if you want a little more arms, you can move that weight a little higher, a little rainbow, but it is up to you, you can keep it center as well. Here we go. Side crunch as we get that weight. Again, you can push into the weight like we did down below to feel it a little bit more, right? Looks simple, 
but it feels challenging. We got five, four, three, two, one. Relax. All right, guys, guess what? We are putting it together. We're going to keep one dumbbell. We're going to go plie, side knee, curtsy, side knee, then other side. So same side knee with both. Plie, pull it up to the side, then take that same leg cross behind, side knee. You decide how low you want to go get, go get. You decide you decide how low you want to go or, or how low you want to get. Oh, it's early. It's not really early, but I've been up a long time with my kids. All right, zip up that core. You decide how low for you in three, two, one. Here we go. Plie, side knee into curtsy, side knee. A lot of lower body and a lot of core. Heart rate two, inner thighs, outer thighs, push through that heel, low, Pull it in. Balance too, right? So the balance is half the battle. That is where that core is working hard. Here. We got five seconds, but let's try to get it done. One more each side. Sneak it in right here. Yes, team. Woo. Grab a quick sip of water after that. I know, whoo, who's feeling it? I know I am. All right, team, so let's take it back down to the mat. Keep that weight close by, but we're gonna start with just a side plank. So we're here, elbow beneath the shoulder. You can be on those knees, you can be all the way up. Whatever is best for you, we're gonna lift it up. We're gonna hold 40 seconds. We're gonna have a few variations in between where we add a little bit of movement. So zip up that core, lift it up in three, two, one. Here we go. So we're up. Elbow beneath the shoulder. Remember you can move that thumb if you're feeling too much in that shoulder. You can drop that knee if you need to. You can stack your feet if that's better for you. So many options. We just want these hips stacked we want our chest open, and most of all, we want the core engaged. We're lifting through the shoulder. Let's drop it down and up. Slow and controlled. 10 seconds down and up. Yes. We got three. Lift. Two. And one. Good. Stretch it out. Alyssa says, Legs are definitely feeling it. Already did a workout before this. Alyssa, you are amazing. Let's stay on this side. So we're gonna take it all the way down. You can rest that head. Watch me, I'm gonna flex that top foot. I'm gonna lift up and lower. So outer thighs, we can do this with or without the weight. We're gonna lift and lower. We got 40 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go, up and down. So I like to keep that foot flex. You also can be up on the elbow or you can be all the way down if you wanna take a little nap, but keep that leg and glute working, right? Up and down. Yes, you can, I know, it's a little burn. You should also feel those obliques on the top. As you can probably guess, we're gonna put them together in just a second. But we got 10 seconds here. Let's just take a little pulse, right? A little Pilates, sneaking it in. Three, two, one, stretch it out. Weight goes down in front, stretch it over. So we are gonna put those two together. I'm gonna do it without the weight, but it is up to you. You're gonna lift in that side plank, lift in the leg, take it down. You can rest the weight right here. You can be all the way up if you want. I'm gonna drop the knees so I have a little more stability but you do you in three, two, one. Here we go. Up, flex, and down, up. So we're getting lower obliques with that side plank, upper obliques with that leg lift, and a lot of glutes and outer thighs, right? Up. Again, totally fine to add the weight if you want. I'm being a little careful on this shoulder that I had a little injury on. Whoo, breathe. 10 seconds to go. 
We got three, two, one. Yes, relax, bring it up, stretch that out. If you just bring those feet in, you'll get that little stretch through your hips as well. Remember, just sitting cross-legged like this is gonna give you that hip stretch. Stretch it over. All right, team, all of that on the other side. We're gonna come side plank. We'll add those drop hips at the end. We'll do a leg lift and then we'll put them together. Core is engaged. Make sure that elbow is beneath the shoulder. Remember, you can rotate that hand if you need to. Give yourself a second to catch that breath. We're going up in three, two, one. Here we go, open it up. So just holding, remember if you need that knee or both knees, you do you. Figure out what is best for you. Core is engaged. Really wanna make sure that you're open with that chest. Even if you have this hand down for a little bit of balance, which is totally fine, make sure we're not leaning into it. So we're gonna open it up here, holding it here. As you're ready, we're gonna drop it down and up. Drop it down and up, yes. Breathing into it. We got three, two, and one. Good, and relax, stretch it out over on your side, top leg, with or without the dumbbell, it is up to you. Flex that foot, lift and lower in three, two, one. Here we go. So think of this as just a little Pilates break, even though you're gonna feel it pretty quickly. Again, if you want to, you can rest that top hand, or that head down and that top hand control on the way up but also on the way down so we're not just kicking the leg it's a controlled movement flex that foot yes last 10 seconds right here hold it in the center we're gonna do little pulses there we go breathe keep it going three two one Yes, team. All right, so we're taking it here. Let's bring it up onto the side. So here's what it looks like. I'm gonna stay on my knees with no weight. You can add that weight or you can be on your toes. You're gonna go up, up, down, and down. We get all through the core, especially obliques. We get those legs and outer thighs and glutes in three, two, one. Here we go. Lift, lift. Very controlled. And I want you to think of two separate parts, right? So you're lifting with the core. Then you're lifting with the legs up, up, and down. Yes. And breathe. Keeping it going. Ten seconds to go. Three. Last two. And one, yes, stretch it over, bring it up onto your feet. Grab a sip of water. Again, you can sit cross-legged if you need that little stretch through the hips. Let's take it up one last time before we finish it all down on the mat. All right, team, so you know it, you love it. We're gonna do a one-legged deadlift, but you can keep it kickstand if you want, or you can take it one leg right here. Either way, we're gonna get the balance so we get legs and core working together. Dumbbells in the front, go heavier if you want. Let's zip up that core, 40 seconds each side, in three, two, one, here we go. So again, you can be here, this is the true one leg, or kickstand where you have that toe down in the back. Either way, I'm keeping my back nice and flat and here and up. The balance is where that core comes in. Slight bend in both knees, especially that front leg. So you can really keep the hamstrings and glutes working, right? Yes, you can. Whoo, here we go. Uh, keep it going. Push into that heel. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. 
stretch it back right here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, burn. Sean likes it when I say that. I do say that a lot. Oh, and welcome, Shanika. You are new. So glad to have you here. Let's get into that other side. Zip up that core. One leg. Ready? Here we go. One leg or kickstand. Either way, try to keep your eyes out in front of your body. If you're starting to see your legs or even the tops of your shoes, you want to bring your head up a little bit. You may be arching that back, rounding that back. I'm going to keep a nice flat back all the way from the top of the head down to the heel, driving through. Ah, 10 seconds. Balance is the name of the game today. So much working here. Breathe, three, two, one, and stretch. Yes, team. All right, let's take it down on to our back. Whoo! All right, so we're gonna finish strong right here. A few little core things all the way down. So you're here on your back. Let's take one dumbbell up top. If that feels like too much, you can have the dumbbell between two hands. But if you're able, one dumbbell here, feet straight up, arm to the back, we're just gonna let those legs drop to the opposite side. If you want, you can add a little reverse crunch, little lift of the hips, push that hand into the ground, other hand straight up. If you wanna do this with no weights, that works too. But let's get it done. Little drop, you decide how low, in three, two, one. Here we go, drop, bring it center. Take it, drop, bring it center. If you want little reverse crunch, little lift, right? Take it here. And lift. Down. And lift. Whoo, feeling it all the way through, right? Trying to keep that arm straight up and angle as you drop those legs. 10 seconds. Keep breathing. We are so close to the end. Last one, breathe and relax. We're gonna switch that weight to the other side. You can let your knees drop for just a second, just to feel that whoo, little stretch. Back up to the top, other arm up. So straight up, you're not doing a press, but you just wanna use that good shoulder mobility, core strength, legs up, ready, here we go. Let them drop. Bring it up, let them drop, ooh, and up, drop, little lift. And you can take the reverse out of it if you just wanna let them drop or the opposite. If you just wanna do a little lift to the ceiling, that works too. Take it here and lift, yes, 10 seconds. And guess what team? We got one more move, last one. Yes, there we go. Weight to the side. We are done with those weights. We're gonna turn into that high plank position. We got some outer thighs with that side plank. Let's get some inner thighs. Watch me here. We're gonna bring it up. We're gonna take that leg all the way across. If you can get that stretch, if that's too much, take it with the knee here to here. If you're feeling good about it, you can rotate it out. Otherwise, just keep it in. So we're crossing for inner thighs. We're holding for core all the way through. Lower body and core. Last thing. Let's get it done. Three, two, high plank. Here we go. Cross and back. Little cross, reach through. So you're gonna get that stretch, that mobility, as well as that core and inners. Again, you can just do a little tap if that's better, or you can rotate it out if you'd rather. 15 seconds, stay with me. Good, strong plank form. Yes, as you're starting to get tired, shift forward in those shoulders. I know we slide back a bit. One more, yes, relax, stretch it back good work team so i want you to sit back into your hips Whew. 
shoulders side to side. Come up onto all fours. Let's just get a little cat cow. So inhale and exhale. Find the breathing pattern that works for you. I like to inhale as I'm here. Exhale as you lift so you can pull everything in. And breathe. Take it here. And then roll back on to your feet. Get a little pedal of your feet. Those hamstrings and glutes and quads worked hard as well as inner outer thighs. You got a little bit of everything today. Round it up, slowly rolling up your back. One vertebra at a time. Roll those shoulders, yes. I hope you are feeling good. Whew. Sit back into those hips. So I am back on the Bullplex YouTube channel most Mondays at 9 a.m. However, not next Monday, but beyond that. Make sure that you are subscribed to the Bowflex YouTube channel so you know when these workouts are coming up. I am live on Mondays, Brie, Tuesday, Thursday, and of course, everything that we do live stays up on the channel so you can do it at any time. So many different workouts on this channel as well as if you are looking for any information on our Bowflex products, you can find it here. Oh, Karina's a little bit late. Oh, good, but you loved it. I'm so glad. Thank you, everybody, for joining today. Check out our other workouts. Don't forget to subscribe. Walk those feet in. Round it up. One last little stretch. We'll put our hand on the wall. If you don't have a wall, that's okay. Just grab onto something. Tilt that hip forward. If that quad stretch is too much, just bring it here. Megan, hello. Join just in time. So many of my regulars. Thank you all for being here. Starting our Mondays off right, right? Other side. Hopefully you've got that energy to get through this week. Remember, when you don't feel like you have energy to work out, remember the workout is going to give you that energy. That is how it works. Roll those shoulders. Thank you, Ashley, for being here. Thanks, everybody. One big deep breath in and out. I am Amy here with Bowflex. And yes, Alyssa, it is raining if that's what you hear. I know it never rains in LA, but it is raining today. Go figure. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I'm Amy and I will see you next time. Have a great day, everybody.